Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Old Rhino Rhino Beer. Today we have the Rhino doing something he doesn't usually do, which is a direct webcam interview, as in it's right off of the uh, YouTube uploader. And I don't normally do that, being a fuck up, I can't, I can't fix it. Anyway, we're going to drink, drink a beer from St. Thomas, Ontario. It is the 2015 Shambok from Railway City. Uh, amazing bar. Okay, uh, lately they've been up in their game on what things look like. This bottle's amazing. It just brings it back. Uh, to a family home. They're not holographic. Those waterfalls are holographic. I don't know if you... Oh, yeah, there we go. We get some of the lights shining. So, what do we have here? Brewed featuring local maple syrup. Ooh, I think normally it's, uh, I think normally it's honey that's in this. Like local maple syrup, 22.9% alcohol, 5.8, uh, sorry, 22.9 IBUs, 5.8% alcohol. I had actually might always have been with local syrup, but I, I, for some reason I'm remembering honey in some of these years. There's a sticker on the bottom with a uh, bottled on date or best before date. Oh, okay, so, I did make them angry when I talked about their double dead elephant and how Twelve dollars a bottle was a little much for it, and their response was, "Well, it's in a 750 milliliter bottle that's silk screened, and it's a fancy bottle. It costs a lot of money on its own." Yeah, and I, my response was, "Well, maybe you should get a cheaper bottle." Uh, well, this is a cheaper bottle. It's a 650. It is. Uh, it's not silk screened. It's wrapped. This is a, a wrap on it. So this bottle was six dollars at the LCBO. You know what? That is a great value. And LCBO purchase. I know the brewery isn't making as much because of the LCBO uh, markups, but that is a great value for a Railway City beer, especially one this big. Now, uh, to those people out there that know the fine points of the hashtag, is this proper glassware? It is a Railway City glass, the Railway City Fine Ale, Iron Spike though. So this isn't one of their Iron Spike lineups. Is it, is it tech? You hashtag proper fucking glassware? I don't know. You tell me. Basically, I'm waiting to hear from the Dushat. Or Biggie. Dushat or Biggie. Okay. Actually, that is a beautiful beer. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is ruby fucking red. That head is creamy, it's beautiful, it's a mocha-ish color. Oh yeah, that is exactly what I'd expect from, like, a shambok. A, uh, anything that makes uh, reference to Ireland, I'd expect either an Irish red or, a, or an Irish stout. And I'm, I'm getting the look of just that. It's beautiful. Oh. A nice roastiness to that, a nice malt, a nice like uh, molasses sweetness, mm, and a slightly uh, earthy backbone. That's kind of a beautiful smelling beer. Let's try the beer. Cheers. Oh. That is beautiful. Very roasty, very toasty. Lots of roast, lots of toast. Beautiful, beautiful roastiness. It lasts from the beginning till the end. A nice caramel sweetness. A nice almost molasses, uh, almost triacle like uh, molasses taste up at the forefront. A nice unrefined sweetness at the background. Uh, it does say it uses local maple syrup. I, I I want to say it's unrefined because I've had my grandfather's maple syrup before it's been un, before it's been refined before it gets all that sweetness added to it, and that's what this tastes like. It's just a beautiful maple taste, but not as sweet as it could be, and it sits right in the middle to the end. I mean, I've finished drinking it, and that's where the maple flavor is. And after I've sipped it, it's on the back end, and with that back end is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Roastiness and a beautiful earthiness and uh, biscuitiness. Uh, it, it is really a beautiful beer. I think it's the best shambok I've had. 
from them so far, and I think I've done three or four of them now. Which is a, a real big step for me with them, because I mean, even their, uh, even their Black Hole Stout this year was my favorite Black Hole Stout I've had. Yes, I am very much against paying $12 a bottle for the Double Dead Elephant, though I will admit it is a good beer. Uh, but the price just kills me. I would buy it at a pub, I would buy it at the brewery on tap. Just couldn't do it at a bottle. This, I would love to be able to go into St. Thomas and, and buy this at the brewery to help them make more money for it. I would easily buy it on tap, and at the price of that, I will gladly go into the LCBO and buy another two or three bottles of it, uh, hoping that it lasts till my beer festival. And the other guys are showing up the date on it. Oh, oh, six. Okay, so it might actually last till I get here. So I might actually have to buy up one or two for when they're here in May. Um, out of ten. Uh, you know what? A 9 out of 10. I love this beer. The price is right. The taste is right. The uh, look is right. Everything about this beer is, uh, for me, right. Even the visual appeal of the bottle. This bottle pops on the shelf. Uh, so, yeah, 9 out of 10 for Railway City's Shambok. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.